subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Factor of concentration of ions affecting electrolysis of an aqueous solution. Do you still remember the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate solution? Let's answer some questions to refresh your memory. Click the drop down menu to select your answer. Let us begin. Question number one. How many ions are present in the electrolyte? Question number two. Name the ions which move towards A naught. Question number three. Name the ions which move towards cathode. Question number four. Which ion will be selectively discharged at cathode? Question number five. Which factor affecting the selections of ions to be discharged? Question number six. What do you expect to see at the anode? If concentrated copper 2 sulfate solution is used as an electrolyte, will the same ion be selectively discharged? What do you think? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain using examples the factor of concentration of ions affecting electrolysis of an aqueous solution and write half equations for the anode and the cathode. We have learned that the position of ions in the electrochemical series can affect the selection of ions to be discharged during electrolysis. Now, let's take a look at how the concentration of ions in the electrolyte affects electrolysis. This is a concentrated solution of copper 2 chloride. Click at the anode or cathode button to see what happens at the electrodes. Now, look closely. Can you name the ion with the most amounts? Click the drop-down menu to select your answer. There are more chloride ions than hydroxide ions in the electrolyte. As the switch is closed, all anions move towards anode. Since chloride ions are more than hydroxide ions, thus, chloride ions will be selectively discharged at the anode. What happens to chloride ion at the anode? Click the drop-down menu to select your answer. Each chloride ion releases one electron to form chlorine atom. Since chlorine atom is not stable on its own, thus, Two chlorine atoms will combine to form a chlorine molecule. What can be seen at the anode? Click the drop-down menu to select your answer. A pale green-yellow evolves at the anode. What is the half equation at the anode? Click the drop-down menu to select your answer. Click on the arrow to go back to the previous screen. Now, look closely. Can you name the iron with the most amounts? Click the drop-down menu to select your answer. There are more copper 2 ions than hydrogen ions in the electrolyte. As the switch is closed, all cations moving towards cathode. Since copper 2 ions are more than hydrogen ions, thus, copper 2 ions will be selectively discharged at cathode. What happens to copper 2 ions at cathode? Click the drop-down menu to select your answer.
copper 2 ions receive 2 electrons to form copper atom. What can be seen at cathode? Click the drop down menu to select your answer. A reddish brown solid is formed at cathode. What is the half equation at the cathode? Click the drop down menu to select your answer. Click on the arrow to go back to the previous screen. From the animation, it is clearly seen that copper 2 ions are selectively discharged at the cathode because there are more copper 2 ions than hydrogen ions. In the same manner, chloride ions are selectively discharged at the anode because there are more chloride ions than hydroxide ions. Thus, in case where the electrolyte is concentrated solution, ions to be discharged are not affected by their position in the electrochemical series. So far, you have learned the two factors that affect the ions to be discharged at the electrodes. Let's put your knowledge to test. Have your worksheet ready. Your aim is to prove that ions, which are selectively discharged at the electrodes, are different between concentrated and diluted solution. To begin your investigation, first, you must make a hypothesis. Can you think of one good hypothesis? Discuss in your group and write it down in your worksheet. Now, are you ready for virtual experiment? The chemicals. Here are four bottles of acid. Which two of these acids will be used to solve this problem? Click on two bottles of your choice and press check. To solve this problem, type of acid used has to be kept constant, but you need to manipulate its concentration. So, you need to use 0.0001 mole per cubic decimeter and 1.0 mole per cubic decimeter of hydrochloric acid. Now, let's choose your setup. Which of this setup are suitable for the electrolysis of 0.0001 mole per cubic decimeter and 1.0 mole per cubic decimeter of hydrochloric acid. Before you make your choice, first you must be able to predict the observation. Fill up the observation table. Predict what will be observed at both anodes and cathodes. Use the two factors that you have learned to select ions to be discharged at the electrodes. Press enter when you have finished fill in the table. Now, choose the correct setup for this investigation. Click the setup of your choice, then press enter to check. In electrolysis of 0.0001 mole per cubic decimeter, there are three ions present in the electrolyte, hydrogen ion, hydroxide ion, and chloride ion. Since the electrolyte is dilute, ions that are selectively discharged are ions that are lower in the electrochemical series. Therefore, hydrogen ion are selectively discharged at cathode, and bubbles of colorless gas can be seen. At the anode, hydroxide ions are selectively discharged, and bubbles of colorless gas can be seen. Can you guess a suitable test to determine the gas produced at cathode and anode? In electrolysis of 1.0 mole per cubic decimeter, there are three ions present in the electrolyte, hydrogen ion, hydroxide ion, and chloride ion. Since the electrolyte is concentrated, ions that are selectively discharged are ions that are higher in concentration. Therefore, hydrogen ion are selectively discharged at cathode and bubbles of colorless gas can be seen. 
at the anode. Chloride ions are selectively discharged, and a greenish-yellow gas can be seen. Can you suggest a suitable gas test to determine the gas produced? That's right, the half equation for electrolysis of 0.0001 mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid and electrolysis of 1.0 mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid. Click on the button to make your selection. Let's use this table. Identify ions present in 0.0001 mole per cubic decimeter of hydrochloric acid. Press enter when you are done. Now, identify which ions will be attracted to anode and cathode. Press enter when you are done. Next, Identify the factor that affects the selection of ions to be discharged. Press enter when you are done. Next, identify the ions selectively discharged. Press enter when you are done. Now, determine whether the ions will release or accept electrons. Press enter when you are done. Lastly, use the information gathered to write half equation at anode and cathode. Press enter when you are done. Click the return button. Let's use this table to help you out. Identify ions present in 1.0 mole per cubic decimeter of hydrochloric acid. Press enter when you are done. Now, identify which ions will be attracted to anode and cathode. Press enter when you are done. Next, identify the factor that affects the selection of ions to be discharged. Press enter when you are done. Next, identify the ion selectively discharged. Press enter when you are done. Now, determine whether the ions will release or accept electrons. Press enter when you are done. Lastly, use the information gathered to write half equation at anode and cathode. Press enter when you are done. Click the return button. In this lesson, you have learned that the concentration of ions in an electrolyte affects the products formed at the electrodes. The higher the concentration of an ion, the higher is its tendency to be discharged at the electrodes. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.